Yo what's good everyone, it's Minal back again with another video and today we're actually doing a reaction video. I got this idea from a Paralyst, make sure to check him out. I actually haven't done any videos with him but they'll come soon, they'll come soon, don't worry. Uh, he did like reaction, he does like reactions to everything, right, check him out, trust. Uh, he does, he did Mind Strange Addictions, uh, I think one video and, I, and now I want to do it. Like literally, I want to do it now. So. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna react to the, uh, my strange editions. We're just gonna find one that looks interesting. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, um, <clears throat> by the way, 200 round subscribers. Cheers for that. All right, let's go. Man who is sexually attracted to balloons. Uh, not a bit dead. Addicted to addicted to living as an adult baby. Bit weird. Shannon's family want her to just stop drinking gasoline. I mean, that sounds interesting, but I feel like I've seen that one before. The woman addicted to drinking air freshener. Uh, I'm good. Meet the woman addicted to eating her husband's ashes. This is Casey. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee. And I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. That's a madness. I take my husband everywhere, to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's neat. Okay, see, that's, that's fair neat. enough, right? Just like Eat. bringing him around, yeah. Anywhere I go, he goes. But I sleep with him. All right, baby, I love you. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. So when I less. cook, I cook what he likes. I don't eat it, but I cook for him. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You want to watch this? If somebody says, hey, who is that? I'm like, oh, this is my husband. Some people laugh. They think I'm playing. But, it, I mean, it's serious. I'm, it's my husband. Casey and Sean were married in 2009 after dating for 10 months. Can't wait to see what happens. Everything it's, it's... I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me. And it felt so great. They fell in love and were soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was... The only time that Casey was truly, truly happy. Their marriage was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. The doctor came in and the look on his face was telltale. It's a bit deep. Can we just like get to like the interesting the day, things? You know what I mean? The day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. Oh, baby, I miss you. Though Casey peak, peak. initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe wipe them off because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers and. Oh, Miss I wish I didn't know I've seen that man. It's like she just ate some freaking cocaine. I can't stop. I'm eating my husband. Look at that, mate. She's just eating it like it's a packet of cereal or something. Oh my. Imagine eating. <sighs> I don't know if I can say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Imagine just eating dust. Like fully, you're just eating dust. Like imagine, imagine that. Imagine that. Do you think it tastes good? First, I like my finger, and I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. She's probably just giving her a tutorial, like how to how to how to eat someone's ashes. Like, nah, mate, it's just you. It's just you. Oh, weird, man. I'm probably like swirling it around. Like, not involved. Not involved. And then I just eat it. It tastes like rotten. Egg. What happened when like she runs out of the ashes? What's she gonna do then? It's a bit peak then, because then I mean she'd probably still carry it around, but it would just be a box with like nothing in it. A box of a picture of her husband. God knows, man. Let's see. Let's just see. Sand and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. It started as Brought an not wanting beat. to get rid of him, and it's progressed into eating him. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his ashes. 
Casey. Ashes should die now, yes? Eating ashes. Imagine that. Imagine that. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Ashes. He eats her husband's ashes five to six times a day. When I open up the urn, I get a sense of happiness. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. And the more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. Then that's like eating a biscuit like you eat one right and then you just want more okay but she does it with ashes have mercy actually just have mercy later i feel horrible because i did it when i got sean back from the crematory he weighed six pounds he is closer to five pounds now so i have consumed right at a pound she's eating a pound of him his ashes That's hard. I'm eating my husband. Very. That's a quote, mate. That's a quote. Let's just let's just replay that. I'm eating my husband. I'm I'm I'm, I'm eating my husband. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very few people know that Casey is eating her husband's ashes. She recently shared this secret with her mother. When Casey actually told me that she was eating Sean's ashes. It was like, I couldn't speak. I really couldn't do anything. I mean, it's like I was just frozen there. It makes me feel embarrassed, ashamed, disgusted with myself, confused, crazy. It's a big one that pops into my head. Gotta be really sick person to eat someone's ashes. It's well, panicking nice me it. and it's uh, worrying me that she's losing reality even more. And I need to do what I need to help her get past that. Knowing that a pound is already gone is hard. And that's one reason I need help. Because I'm going to run out soon. And I don't know if I'll be able to hold it together any better than I'm doing now. What am I going to do when I go to bed at night and there's just an urn there and there's nothing in it? That's what I'm saying. But can Casey quit her addiction to eating her husband's ashes? Hey, no, look at her. Look at her, man. Oh my god. Hang on one sec. Let's just replay that. I was feasting. Check this, man. But can Casey quit look her addiction this, to oh eating her husband's Lord. ashes? Can her family stop her before it's too late? I just want her to stop eating the ashes. That's my one and only hope for my daughter. I have to stop eating him. I've lost him once. This time it'll be my fault that I lose him again. And I don't want to do that. And it's going to get to that point really soon if I don't get help. She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin Stephanie and ask for help. I'm feeling anxious a little bit, um, nervous. I don't want to lose the trust that we have. I'm ready to tell her and I'm ready to get it out. I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh, no. I don't want you to freak out, and I don't want you to get mad, and I really don't want you to push me away and not talk to me anymore. You know, I carry around Sean everywhere. Um, I've been eating his ashes. <laughs> My face. I feel you, mate. I feel you, mate. Blimey hell. Mate, if she told me that, I'd actually just walk out. I'd be like, yeah, mate, you're a weird one. I don't want to be a friend. You're an eek. You're an eek. So eating ashes, man. He'll always be a part of me mm -hmm. because right. I'm eating him, you know? Yeah, but I don't know what to think about that. I mean... Yo, that's actually facts. But what about... His ashes are just going to get dissolved in her body. I'm not going to look... I'm not going to get deep this. I'm not going to deep this. It is a kind, kind of a little too much maybe i don't quite understand why casey would feel as far as eating the ashes would bring her closer to him i just don't i don't understand that part i don't understand why she would want to keep eating it so like when you're eating the ashes like what's going through your mind at that moment it comforts me and then i do it and then it makes me sad because i'm slowly losing my husband again and i'm so scared that's because you're eating him, mate. Oh my god. If you're listening, right? That's... 
because I'm slowly losing my husband again. It's because you're eating him. It's because she's eating him, man. Oh. And I'm so scared that I'm pretty close to the edge right now. And if I eat him, like all of him, it may push you over. It may push me over. Right. But then again, where's my comfort going to be? I don't want to be, oh, there's a little crazy lady that ate her husband. But it's comforting. You know, when we first started, he was six pounds, and right. now he's almost five pounds. Right. You know, and in another six months, not even six months, you know, maybe three or four months mm -hmm. from now, at the rate I'm going, he'll be gone. Right. Who am I going to hold at night? Mm -hmm. Who am I going to take with me everywhere? Yeah. What am I going to do? Well, don't eat him, mate. That's actually stock. That's actually shocking. Like, oh my god, why are you eating ashes? Why are you eating dust? Honestly, oh my god. Fully, she just she accidentally st stuck stuck her finger in there and licked it, and now she's addicted. Like, oh my god! See that? Uh, I'll try and upload another like for me reacting to my strange addictions. Hopefully, it's not as crazy as that. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.